Sino po yung naniniwala? Sina na naririnig po natin palagi yung kasabihan na ang sakit, it runs in the family. Pag nagkasakit ka, let's say for example hypertension, sasabihin it runs in the family. Hindi po tama yun. Wala pong katotohanan yun. Everything can be corrected. Gusto niyo po ba na yung mga anak niyo, future niyong anak o pamilya, ganun din ang mangyari. So let's start it from us. Let's start it from now. Nabaguhin yung mentality na yun na kapag nagkasakit ka o kasi sakit yun ang pamilya namin. It's wrong to think of it that way. We have to think of what, how to become better. So sa pagiging OFW ko po in Kuwait na 31 years, marami na po mga sakit-sakit akong naramdaman and uh, hindi ko masasabi na uh, dahil sa overwork ako but yun nga my father died of hypertension my mother died of diabetes kaya ito yung mga dahilan kung bakit talaga ako nag-join or so I am worldwide why I am religiously taking our amazing pure organic barley yung health resources ko so, eto yung mga sakit na tumatakbo ngayon. This is very common to every Filipino or, or even sa around the world. Hypertension, diabetes, gout, arthritis, high cholesterol, vertigo. All this can turn into kidney problems. And added mo po po dyan, acid reflux. The very main reasons for me are these diseases Itong mga health conditions na ito na ayoko nang maranasan. Although nararanasan ko na po yan. I have hypertension na maintenance. May, may pre-diabetic na po ko. May gout because of high uric acid, high cholesterol, and worst is the vertigo. Kung sino po sa inyo nakaka-experience ng vertigo, it is the worst thing na talaga kung hindi kang makapagtrabaho. Yung acid reflux. This is the best, this is the worst thing na na-experience ko talaga. Uh, years back, wherein there was a time na ayoko nang kumain. Kasi lahat na doon ipinapasa ko sa, sa chan ko, isinusuka ko. And all of this, may medications. May mga medications kasi pagpunta mo sa doktor, bibigyan ka ng gamot. And this is the sad thing. Mga doktor, hindi naman nila, they don't look into the root cause of your diseases sa mga karamdaman mo. Immediately, they will prescribe you with medicines. Um, synthetic medicines. So, dagdag ng dagdag. Sino po ba, siguro yung mga experience po kayo, sino po ba yung narisitahan ng gamot this last month at pag bumalik sa doctor for, for uh, let's say, consultation or for another checkup, is either na napalitan yung gamot mo o nadagdagan yung gamot mo. Those are synthetic medicines that can cause problems to our kidney. Kasi na it can turn into toxins sa katawan natin. So, ito po yung naisip ko, sabi ko, Lord, hindi ko, ayokong... After 31 years or 32 years na nagtatrabaho ko abroad, uuwi ako ng Pilipinas at magpapaalaga ako. There was a time in my life na na-experience ko two years ago, naghatid ako ng best friend ko sa airport ng Kuwait and she is in a box. Box means nasa COVID po. Namatay ko siya sa Kuwait because of diabetes. And it's just a sad thing sa mga OFW. Yun po yung iniiwasan natin, masaya ako na nakikita ko yung kaibigan ko, naglalakad papunta ng airport, pa-uwi for good, na naglalakad pa. Hindi naka-wheelchair, hindi naka-box. So this is the thing na talagang dapat natin iwasan. Yung pag giging malayo natin sa pamilya na uuwi tayong magpapaalaga. Masarap uuwi sa, Palipin sa Pilipinas. Ngayon po nakabakasyon ako. And I'm really enjoying it. Kasi... Nandito ako ngayon sa Baguio. Nakita alam niya naman siguro sa Baguio, lahat uphill, hagdan. Lahat ng mga bibisitahin mo, hagdan. Ang tataas, 100 steps. But then, luckily, I can still do it. I can still walk. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the part. Okay? So, ito po yung mga naisip ko. And I even turn into uh, natural medications. Yung mga gamot na binigay sa akin, yung better serve for my vertigo, so far for my high cholesterol. At ito pa po, yung mga pasensya nilagay ko po itong mga supplements na to. During the last two years, I am taking almost 11 synthetic medicines including um, supplements. Kasi na isin na kailangan daw natin yung supplements sa katawan natin. And I'm taking it so 11 synthetic medicines every day. Imagine po yun. What would be the effect of that on your kidney or on your liver? So lahat po ito cross out na. 
ever since po na ginagamit ko po yung uh, product natin. Um, when I came to know Barley, amazing Barley, it was in the early days of July. Nag negative po ako. Negative po ako sa Barley nung panahon na yun. Kasi, nung sinabi sa akin na uh, MLM business yun, negative ako sa MLM. Sabi ko, sasabihin niya maganda yung product dahil gusto niya makapagbenta. But, nag-try pa rin ako. I tried a box. I haven't even finished the first box. Third week of July, I had an incident na bumagsak ako and I hit my forehead. Na hospital ako. And at that time, that was July 2020, that was the onset of pandemic, COVID. Nung panahon na yon, ano po ba yung mga binibigay sa gamot ng mga, uh, para maboost yung immunity natin? Mga vitamins, multivitamins, multi supplements, wala naman po talagang gamot. And then came July 2000, the third week of July 2020, when I had that incident, na nakailangan ko ma-admit. Kailangan na have like six stitches on my forehead kasi uh, yun nga, bumagsak ako without any reason na uh, tumama lang po yung tuhod ko sa corner of the table. All of a sudden, I was totally uh, unconscious. At nakita na lang ako ng anak ko, dumudugo na po yung forehead ko so they have to rush me to the hospital. And then when I was admitted at the hospital during that time, doon na found out na COVID positive ako. Pero wala pa akong signs of any uh, asymptomatic ako. Wala ako. I was perfectly fine except for the pain on my forehead. So at that time, doon na po ako nag-decide. Kasi ang ibigay po sa akin na gamot sa hospital, vitamin C, vitamin E, antibiotic, paracetamol, lahat na lang halos, lalo na po ang vitamin C, ay kalaban ng may mga acid reflux. Hindi ko talaga ma-take ang vitamin C. So that was the time na nag-decide ako to take barley more. Dinobog dose ko po yung barley ko during that time na I am uh, ongoing quarantine and at the same time healing of my um, cuts. Makikita niyo po, meron pa po akong scar sa forehead ko. So uh, I survived that moment na wala po talaga ako naramdaman kahit na anong symptoms sa uh, uh, pagiging uh, COVID patient ko po. Now, ever since that day po, naging kaagapay, naging part na po ng lifestyle namin ang bark of barley. So, since po nang tinanggal ko na po lahat ng mga medications ko, quarterly, monitor ko na lang po ang aking uh, blood, uh, blood chem, quarterly po yan para to ensure na I am in that range Yung ang nakakatuwa kasi yung uric acid ko po talagang bumaba na, naging normal na. Yung mga previous ko po nasa 400, 450 yan. So ito yung last uh, three quarters of 2021 and 2022. Kaya masaya po ako na with the help of our organic barley ay talaga pong na naging maayos ang internal ano ko, uh, body, um, ang tawag dyan, body system ko, ang immune system ko po. Uh, of course, with this, uh, some minor, ano, yung mga konting ubosipon, which is very common, lalo na change of weather. But then, apart from any other major uh, diseases, nag-detake like, ako ng mga maintenance. Ngayon, wala na po. Praise God for that. So, ever since uh, July 2020, yun na yun. Lahat po kami sa pamilya namin, yun na yun. Every day, two sachets every morning, yun lang po yung iniinom ko. And it boosts my immunity. And nadagdag po dag po, dag po, po natin doon yung constipation ko. Ngayon po, everything is normal and kahit saan po ako nando doon and of course, uh, with the help of the Lord, yun po yung uh, pinaka number one talaga natin because God is our great healer. Maniwala po tayo sa, sa Lord, kay, kay Lord kasi siya rin naman po, God is the creator of everything. He created body for us to use it, for us to be healthy. So, ito po yung naging journey ko kaya until this very point, day, yung po yung mga ginagamit namin ng family namin. Wala na po kaming ibang supplement na ginagamit uh, except the amazing pure organic party. So, uh, to end it with it, um, tutuputong ka sa behalf. Invest in your health. Don't think of it as an expense. Lalo na po sa atin naman nagtatrabaho. Lalo na po sa atin na may mga umasa. 
You have to care for yourself first before you can take care of others. You have to think of yourself first before you think of others. Kasi hindi mo rin naman magkakawa. Yung um, gusto mo, yung goal mo na makatulong sa kanila o sa mga mahal mo sa buhay, if you are not healthy. So, with this, I end my sharing.